In this short video, I'll be showing you the new Create Multiple Profiles tool, which is part of the Kobe Toolkit for Civil 3D. This is not a completely new tool. We've just added a few enhancements to it. So to get started here, in my model, I have multiple alignments. Okay, and I want to create profiles from these and I want to create an existing ground profile and a finished ground profile. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the Kobe Toolkit for Civil 3D ribbon. We're going to come over to the Profiles panel and we're going to select Create Multiple Profiles. The Create Multiple Profiles dialog box comes up and you can see up here at the top is where you can select your different alignments. So I've got them all selected at the moment. Uh, but you do have a button to pick them on screen. You can check them all or uncheck them all if you wanted to. In the middle, we're going to add our surfaces. So we're going to hit the plus sign. And so there's our first one. Now, over here at the end, you can see the position. I'm going to do some stack profiles, as you can see down here at the bottom. So I want three. I'm going to go three of them in there. Okay, so XG is the surface I'm sampling. I can specify the layer, I'm not too worried about it. The style I'm gonna use, so I can come in here and specify the style. So the one side I'm gonna say is my left sample. This one's gonna be my existing ground, the center. And then this one is gonna be my right sample. Uh, I'm not gonna have any labels. My offset here, I'm gonna say the first one is a negative 10. This one's gonna be zero, and this one will be a positive 10. Now the position, I'm going to say only show me this profile in the top area. This one I'm going to say only show it to me in the middle. And this one is going to show me only at the bottom. We come on down here, we got our profile view name. So right now it's going to be called the alignment name, the sampled surface name, dash VP next counter. So uh, eventually we'll have a uh, dialog box where you can customize these. Right now we're just inputting them in here and you can copy and paste them. Uh, the offset to the next profile, I'm going to say is 50. It's fine. Uh, the profile view style. So this one is going to be the middle view. Okay, so I'm going to say this view is going to be my intermediate. And the band, I'm not going to have any bands here. Then down here, we're going to automatically create a finished ground profile. And I'm just going to call it the alignment name and then FG next count. Sometimes I only put in FG and then next counter. The profile style, we're going to go in here and let's go design profile. Uh, the label set, we'll use the complete label set in this case. If I come on down here, now this is where we're going to do the stack profiles. And I'm going to have an offset between these stack profiles, just a unit of one. And then we've got our top profile view is going to be first view. And bottom profile view is going to be last view. I'm going to go OK. The command line says select your profile view for insertion so we're, it draws it up and to the right. So I'm going to pick a point here and now placed all these profiles on screen. So if we zoom in here, we'll now see there we've got three profiles. So there's our uh, right profile, there's our center line profile. We can see that there's a finished design there going from the start of the alignment to the end of the alignment. And then we have our left profile. So they're all done that way. So once again, there's your finished ground. And so this makes it easier. So if you need to make some edits, so if we grab this profile right here, we can come up to geometry editor and we can start making changes to this profile. Very quick and easy. We don't have to go through the process of creating it. If I escape here and we'll come over here and we'll select another one, command toolbar is still up. Now we can go ahead and start making modifications to this one. I'll escape. This concludes this short video on create multiple profiles. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.